Hey there, you can call me Beef Boss, and the answer is yes, I'm hungry for adventure. Nice to meet you. It's always sw it's swell to meet a new face. <gasps> what? what the? Do you mind? Oh my. Well, it was a nice conversation, I guess. What's going on, guys? And welcome to LEGO Fortnite. Hello. A new survival game that has literally just kind of like come out of nowhere, but we're in the world of Fortnite as well, as you can tell by banana skin. The fun thing is, it's an open world survival, which I never expected to kind of just drop suddenly, especially for a Lego game, because we all love Lego. And we've got this bird to talk to, talk to Cuddle Team Leader. Where am I? Who are you? Who am I? Wait, I know that last one. My name's Cuddle Team Leader, nice to meet you, and your bits. Why does that sound familiar? I've never fallen into a brand new place like this before, but I'm glad we fell together. It could be dangerous out here. We should prepare ourselves just in case. Well, welcome to the world of LEGO Fortnite. We are now free to do whatever we want, build whatever we want. I can see some cows over there in the distance, but I guess we best start with like every survival game we play. Grab the basic supplies, grab some raspberries. I'm guessing we can eat these. We do have a hunger bar, it seems, which I think is what is around uh, our UI up in the top left. So we've got some sticks here, some wood, and um, so basic survival stuff. Grab as much as these, build basic tools. Uh, we can see we've got a build in the bottom corner, so we've got a campfire to make. Let's kind of just throw dice down here. And then a simple shack, two build recipes, crafting table, or crafting bench, be more wood, granite, and then we've also got a simple shack here as well, which kind of gives us a pre-built structure, which I'm guessing it will highlight like a, like a blueprint. Um, let's kind of just throw this down. Not enough resources. I need six woods to kind of place that. So let's just kind of come out of this, grab some more supplies, and oh, there's pumpkins as well. Pumpkins, more basic wood. And we've got control to dive as well, which is going to be coming from useful for when we come across some bad guys. We best get creative. And hopefully you're having a good morning, afternoon, or evening. And let me know what you guys, are you guys playing LEGO Fortnite and trying it? It is a survival game. This channel is all about survival games and automation and all that kind of good stuff. So I thought, why not check it out? So let me know what you guys think. Uh, and obviously from your guys' feedback, we might possibly look at doing maybe some more videos on this. Uh, just let me know what you guys think. So let's grab some more wood. I'm just going to keep grabbing as much as I can and just like carry everything. Can we get anything from these? Hello, friend? Oh, we can pet them. Wait, did I just feed it a rock? Oh, collect fertilizer and milk. Oh, I actually just grabbed poop. I actually grabbed poop. Oh, no, I'm not feeding it raspberries. I thought I was. I was going to say, would, would cows really want raspberries? So I'm just wondering if we'll be able to like trap these and make our own little farm. So we can grab like all of this with ease instead of them roaming. Oh my god, there's actually a poop there. There's, oh my god, there's poop everywhere. Probably on the bottom of my shoes. More raspberry, oh, more wood. We need more granite. Granite rocks. Oh, there's loads over here. Look at all this. As long as I don't run over anything else. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello, spiders. Hello. Friendly. Friendly. Oh, wait, I, I have. How do I. How do I. Punch. Oh. oh yeah. I'm a professional. So it's the matter of punch and roll. We've got some silk from these. Obviously, I'm not gonna know what every item I have. I do have a feeling that this is gonna be a mix of like Minecraft and Valheim. I don't know if there's any terrain manipulation. We'll find out. But if there is terrain manipulation, that could be great. Is that a chicken? It is a chicken. Wait, can we pet chickens and get eggs? Hello, friend. Drop me an egg. Oh, <gasps> you're dead. They do kind of run away. We'll have to try and figure a way how we can lure these into like a pen or something. But anyway, let's get back to the camp and try and make this little shack so we can have a look at what we can do in the crafting table. All right, so we've just got back to camp. So let's try and build this little shack. Place this down. Does it really matter where? Okay, so it does give a, a, a blueprint. So we've got the pieces here, and then we can just put these in there like so. God, the lighting. I think, I'm pretty sure this is using Unreal Engine 5. By the technology that's in this, it seems very much likely. Anything else? A little lip. 
Oh my gosh, you got a torch. Hello. Simple shack completed. So we've just unlocked some more recipes. We now have a village square. Establishes a villages in the surrounding area. We need wood and granite. Let's just store that down. Oh, actually, no. Would a bed be useful? Crafting bench? Bed? Yeah, let's throw a bed down. That'd be a nice little spawn point, right? Throw that down there. Still get a little bit wet. Talk to Crotillion Leader. Always a pleasure. This shelter will be perfect for protecting us from the weather and the enemies that might be around. I'm getting pretty tired of collecting rocks and sticks the old-fashioned way. If we had a crafting bench, we could make tools. Okay. I'm not going to read too much dialogue into uh, into all of that. I think it's just basic knowledge. Oh my god, we actually do get just basic blocks to build from. So I can just place this down here. And then just like... Oh my god, you can. So we could just go full free roam. How do I dismantle this now? By just breaking it? I'm guessing so. We can see that my I'm getting pretty cold because of obviously the rain. But the closer we get to the fire, our temperature kind of moves a little bit. Assign bed. I've noticed as well... You can't play locally. It seems to be like I'm uh, I'm on a server. I'm on actually like a, a Fortnite server. We've got three boys of health. And then we've got the map as well. So the map's pretty big. Uh, if you guys are interested in like playing along and everything, my, my seed is right at the bottom of the screen right now, which is 629-973-401. I could have put a custom one in, but I'm a spoon and I didn't. Okay, so I don't think we can like rest as in like sleep sleep to pass the night on seems like we kind of have to go through the night uh, but let's have a look at what we want to build next we want to go for the crafting table right which is going to be this we just need two more wood so there should be some around here somewhere yeah there's plenty over here grab you and grab you oh there's some sheep cannot sprint low energy okay let's check can we what am I going to get from you? Can I pet you? Oh, God, it does get pretty dark, doesn't it? From what I understand, uh, understand and like the feedback that I've heard of you guys uh, mentioning about this, uh, especially on the live streams, is the combat can get pretty crazy at some points, especially with the numbers or waves of enemies. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, the enemies can actually attack your encampment as well. So that'd be kind of interesting if we had to kind of build up or whatnot. But um, crafting bench, here we go. Let's put this in here. This is the side of my bed. Use crafting bench. Forest axe. Here we go. Pickaxe. This is what we want. Torch. We need vines and wood for that. Forest axe. We need wood and more wood. Okay. So we just need to get just wood in general. How have I lost a heart? A crafting ingredient is often shed by friendly sheep. Yep. Kind of know that. Da -da -da -da. Milk. Drink to heal and reduce hunger. Okay. Cool. Hunger's uh, just a bit, bit below half right now. But we need to grab some more supplies. Oh my god, there's a spider just popped out of nowhere. So these spiders actually pop out from underneath the rocks, the granite rocks you actually collect. Lumber mill? What is that? Builds objects like planks and rods for use in crafting. Oh, that's pretty cool. We've also got a grill as well. Turn raw ingredients into food used for healing and reducing hunger. I'm going to presume there is other pre-builds like pre oh there's a skeleton there he, he kind of nearly noticed me i just want to make a an axe so i think an axe is going to be the useful thing before we get the pick because i'm finding granite everywhere anyway okay let's get back i've picked just picked up nine wood i am cold that's why i'm losing health let's get back over here with a warm i'm just wondering if a torch is going to keep us warm as well so let's make a forest axe let's craft that can we make a torch we can let's craft that uh oh. Okay, she's kind of badass. Oh, and they dropped a pickaxe. So they actually dropped the tools. It's pretty weak. Can I repair this? Can I go into my. No. Can't repair it. Okay, well, at least we've got something. So, what do we want to look at building next? We've got a couple of bombs here. Let's head to the crafting table. We kind of do want to make our own pickaxe. We're going to need more wood. I do have a torch as well. Can I bring the torch down here? Let's also have one food source, one drink source. And then we can just kind of change it up this way. Let's go on there. Good if I can get her to follow me. Uh, it'd be pretty good if we can uh, get some daylight here. I think it's coming daylight. The moon's going down. I don't think it's going to stay like nighttime for too long. Wow, that glow's kind of cool on the tree. I kind of like that. Wait, can I break this log even though it's dropped? Oh, I can. Oh, 
Nice. There's like a podium up there or something. We've also got these here. Collect corn. Drop some corn. What is that? Hello? It's like it wants me to... F what are you? Whoa! Easy, tiger. Little little crab. What are you going to give me? What was that? A shell. Okay. Health charm. But let's follow this. Oh, there's a chest here. Is this just a... Okay, take stack, take stack, take stack. Is that a carrot? All right, let's follow this just because I don't I don't know if this has got a time limit on it. Oh, there it is. Is it taking me to that chest? It is. Wheat. Wool and silk. That's it. But I suppose we found something that we didn't have, which was wheat. And also, I'm curious if we can break this down and get some possible resources. Let's just grab our pick. Let's see if we can. Oh, my God, timber. So there is actual, like, physics in this, which is good. What's that? Is that a water barrel thing? Oh, my pickaxe just broke. Yeah, we're not going to use our pickaxe uh, for that. It's nearly br broke anyway, but we should be able to make a chest, actually, for base. We can see our base over there. Bloody wolves attacking the sheep. So we can see where our house location is, which is good to know. Bloody spiders. Friendly. All right, so we just arrived back at camp. My axe is pretty bust, uh, bust right now. Uh, we definitely need to make another one. I don't know if we can repair, but we're just, for now, we're just going to grab that. Could make our own pickaxe as well. We've also got a shield. Health charm. Adds health and defense. Lifts your spirit by amping up your max health. Interesting. We need silk thread and marble for that. Bits village. Choose the icon. Little fort. Let's make it green. Confirm. I bet this village square will attract friends looking for a safe place to rest at night. We should ask a visitor to live at our village. There's strength in numbers. Plus, anyone who moves in might be willing to help us gather resources. Okay, so wait. If we bring in more people, are they going to actually live in the village? Then defend the village and stuff? That could be kind of cool. But we've just got a map marker. We've also got some new prefabs, like a double shank, a log, a log lookout, and then also some new building parts. We've got floors, we just unlocked different types of walls, the shack walls, uh, rustic stairs, fences, log pillars, and rooftops. So there's a lot of building pieces. It's Lego, so like what to expect. And here's some recent stuff as well that we've built. Village map markers. I kind of want to look at this lumber mill. But we need 15 granite for that. Can I do anything with this? View village upgrades. Here we go. Growing village. An additional villager can live, live at this village. Friendly visitors. The friendly explorers will visit the village. So once we level up, we can... Foragers for hire. Villagers can be asked to forage nearby resources. Refine wood or refine stone. Oh, that's pretty cool. For me, villagers will occasionally gift items. Add an additional villager. We can also get cookings. Villagers can cook. Well rested. But this is pretty neat. And this is just kind of the start. It's got a great foundation to the game, I think, from the get-go. So I'm kind of looking forward to seeing how uh, this game adapts. Um, because as we know, as I don't, like, I hardly, hardly ever play Fortnite. But, like, when it comes to survival games, I'm all for it. But let's start breaking these down and grab some granite because we're going to need a lot of it. All right, so I've been running around like a headless chicken. Whoa! Whoa! Well, rip that spider. Oh my god. Okay, right, back inside now. Panic, 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 panic. Cannot sprint low energy. Wait, who's that? Oh, that's the... What on earth? Wait, hello? Beef boss. Hi. I tell you what, this lightning is terrifying. You can hear, like, roars in the distance and everything. But it has just gone night time. I have grabbed a lot. Look, they're even actually getting it into shelter themselves as well. That's pretty cool. Hey there, you can call me Beef Boss. And the answer is yes, I'm hungry for adventure. Nice to meet you. 
It's always sw it's swell to meet a new face. Wah! What the? Do you mind? Oh my. Well, it was a nice conversation, I guess. But the lightning doesn't want us to become friends. I feel like we need to keep moving. Right, the weather's passed. We should be fine. Let's talk to Mr. Beef Burger again. It's you. What a treat. Oops. I've been battling brutes forever. I wish I could settle down in a nice village somewhere. Well, put this here. And let's start building what we need to. So, which pieces are these? Oh, no. I've just got to build it from here, right? And it pops up. Bam, bam. Is that our build area because of the town village? Or is that a build area for one building? Oh, did I not put another one of them down? I need to put a corner piece in here. And then another pillar there and another pillar there with doorways like that. And then some of you up there and up there. I love how this is like a great building tutorial for the game. So you can kind of learn the basic mechanics. There we go. Stage five out of seven complete. Get up there or is that it's a longer piece, isn't it? Six out of seven complete with a final piece is that one. There we go. Building complete. Double shack. Oh, is there a way we can put torches in there? Can I do that? Oh. Oh, you can throw torches. Oh. Skeletons attack the camp. But let's put down another bed. But I do need some more wood. I've got my axe. So maybe we just quickly go and find a tree real quick. Because I don't know if both of them need a bed. I think maybe they do. So let's just grab this. Grab some wood. Place down at least one bed. Even though it's got holes in the walls. It'll do for now. Put a bed down. And hopefully that helps. Would you want to be uh, live here now? Hey there. It's hard to beat a fresh beneath your feet. How can I live in my village? Spot just for me. That could be nice. Do you have a spot for me to sleep? Yes. Awesome. I'll set my things up. Make yourself at home. Nice. I'm just wondering, you know. If I was to put down one of these... These utilities. Oh, no. There's a storm again. Uh, we need more wood. I'm going to try and put one down these utility buildings. And I'm going to see if we can assign him to be a lumberjack. So maybe he will go on out and chop trees and bring it back and make them planks. Oh, okay. Grab some more wood. Oh, that storm was going to land on me as well. Hey, this is getting pretty intense. I'm not going to lie. I didn't think it would be, uh, you'll have to fight and duck and weave. It's not that like you can just go up to enemies and just constantly fight them. You've got to, you know, you got to take a little bit of a roll. There's a little bit of fighting mechanics in there. It's pretty fun though. I'm not going to lie. So we've got the wood now. Let's put down a lumber mill. Put this in here. Uh, does this really matter where it goes? Kind of put that there. Wooden rod. So if we go in here now, we can make wooden rods. Good to know. Make planks a sign recipe. Incoming! I did say incoming. Wait, do they, they don't actually damage the houses, do they? I don't think they do. Why is this glowing? View villagers. One out of five. Foragers for hire. Villagers can be asked. Oh, we're not level two yet, are we? Uh, how do we get to level two? Jesus. Can I give you a job now? Oh, we just got a spinning wheel. Uh, i got to say, this spot is really nice. Yeah, let's talk jobs. Okay, so you need me to do things. Oh, my. Every time I try to speak to this guy. Jesus. Let's talk jobs. Let's explore. That mean they'll come with me. I've got a flipping burgers. But I can do other stuff too. Let's go. Oh, I should really build him a cooking place, right? He could be the chef. It kind of makes sense. He's got a burger on his bloody head. Maybe I should have built a grill. Maybe I do build a grill. There. Now, let's see if I can give him a job. Continue. Wait, continue. Let's talk. We can talk later. Let's get inside. Okay. Let's get inside and then come talk to me. Dismiss follower. Uh, dismiss follower. Talk inside. Come. I want to try and give you this cooking job. Can I give you... Can I... Can I do this? How can I talk to you if you won't come inside, you spoon? All right. Anyway, let's make some fried eggs. The storm is intense. We need to find shelter. We can talk later. Let's get inside. Get inside then, instead of hanging around the backside. I need to get some, uh, do with some food here. Let's get some pumpkins in my hot bar. Eat some pumpkins. Oh my God, it's cleared up. Right. 
Mr. Burger Man. Right, so now that we've got a little camp set up, I it's like a little starter base we've got here. So let me know in the comments below if you want me to do some more videos on this and cover it if you guys are interested. Uh, and we're going to end this one here. So thank you so much for watching. And as always, keep bloody smiling and I'll see you in another video.